This video covers editing resources directly from the resource library and updating resources that you've previously added to your Hype document. When you drop an image into Hype, like this image on the desktop, you get an item in your resource library. And you can edit this file that you originally dropped into Hype, or you can edit directly from the resource library. So let's show that first example first. If I edit this gif.png file on the desktop and I change its color to purple and I save it back to the desktop, going back to Hype, Hype will ask me if I want to update that modified file. So that's one way to edit that resource. But I can also edit it by selecting it and clicking Edit here. Now this shows me all programs that can edit that PNG file format. So we can do the same thing. We can go to Affinity Photo, and this opens a temporary file, which is loaded directly from the resource library. And we can do the same thing. We can recolor this so that we're back to a color that matches. So I'm going to save that back out as a PNG. This will also update the image in your Hype document, but it's modifying Hype's copy, not the copy of the image on your desktop. So this is a quick way to edit files that you don't currently have a link to on your computer, or you just want to edit it from your resource library. The same thing works for things like CSS. If we wanted to work with some bootstrap content inside of Hype, let's say we wanted to use this card style. We can copy this code, add it to a rectangle, and we want to get that bootstrap CSS also. So I'm going to quickly download that Bootstrap CSS. I've got it right here. Now I just want to drag in this bootstrap.min.css and this will give Hype all the styles needed to show that bootstrap code. So I'm just going to drag it into the resource library. So now that it's in the resource library, my last step is to uncheck protect from external styles and then all of the styles in that CSS will apply. Just like the image, I can get in here and click Edit and open one of the CSS files in a CSS editor. So this will open up in Visual Studio Code, and it's all the minified bootstrap code. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom and just add some new code. Now let's say I wanted to make an edit to this card, and I want that button, instead of being blue, to be red. So I'm going to get this btn-primary class. I'm going to go to the bottom of that CSS file and change the background color to red. Now when I save that CSS file will update immediately and you'll see that the change has come in. You can also edit functions you create in Hype with this resource editing workflow. So this is a function I created in Hype. It's called getValue. And all it does is uses a number to set a amount raised in relation to a goal. So when we preview this, it uses this 10,000 number and animates up to the goal. So this code we can edit also in an external editor. I'm going to select the function in the resource library and select Edit, and then go back to Visual Studio Code again. And you'll see that this opens with nice color highlighting, and any change I make in this document will be saved back to the Hype function. So I can change the amount raised to maybe 25,000, save it, and this will write back to the function in Hype, and then previewing this will update that file.
You can also edit the head HTML directly in a HTML editor. You can do that by holding down control and then clicking on it and then going to Visual Studio Code or whichever editor you like to use. So this gives us head HTML that we can work with. And I'm going to get this CSS gradient animator and create a little background animation with two colors, which we can add to the background of our document. I'm going to copy this. And then in Hype, I'm going to use this code and close the tag. And now I'm going to save. Now going back to Hype, when I preview this, my head HTML is automatically updated. And we can see also that when I click head HTML, this code is updated. And this link works pretty quickly. Any change I make in my external editor will automatically update in height. So I can do things like beautify the code with some tidying and then that automatically updates in Hype. Now keep in mind that you need to keep Hype open if you're making any edits in an external editor. Those changes will be lost if you ever close Hype while you have a file open. Another thing to note is that instead of going down here to the bottom and clicking Edit, you can hold Control and just click to open one of these files in an external editor. There's a few other tips and tricks we have in the document linked at the bottom of this video. If you have any questions as you get going with this, let us know in the comments below. Thanks.